Well, hello, friends and family, brothers and sisters. Happy Fire Day. That would Friday, whatever you want to call it. Well, this one going out to Mr. Bruce. Fab Creations. Mr. Bruce. <clears throat> Sorry, package got out. It's so long, but it's out today. But I want to show you what I sent you. This is my private stock. Well, this is what it looked like. I cleaned it up. I want to show you what, what I sent you. Some of my private collection. I, you know, everybody got their own private stock. If you drink, you know, you got your private whiskey. And, well, I collect fat wood some. So, and I harvest it. This is some special that I, I put back in the back for a rainy day. That's what. But, you know, I sent you some, some of my private stock for... Yeah, you know, I was gonna send you some of this anyway, but we just have some real good stuff. Instead of store bought stuff. I know it, store bought stuff works good, but you know, it's just not the idea of it. You know, you are part of our community, you ought to have the real deal instead of store bought. And uh there's a couple things in the box for you, and then there's a couple things for your giveaway I wanted to uh, include in there, so it's on its way. Alrighty. Let's uh, get some more of this, as Allie calls it, bacon carved up. And we'll get a set of blaze. All right. Wind's blowing a little bit. Past couple days we had some rain. And these are the, uh, my shavings that I, I after I left them on the table after I harvested Mr. Bruce's uh, wood for him. And I left this, I just left this on the table, so it might be a little damp, but the thing about fat wood, it doesn't matter if it's damp or dry or what. If it's good, it's gonna light. No matter what condition it is, that's why, you know, Bushcrafters, you know, we like that was one of the good things Somebody asked a question the other day, you know and I thought about it. And they said what would you rather carry? Bush bark or uh, I mean uh Birch bark or fat wood well birch bark is lighter but you know Takes a little bit more birch bark to get a fire going. I can take this little, this little sliver right here and get three or four fires going good with this little small amount. I love playing with birch bark, but this uh, small amount of birch bark like this couldn't get that. Uh, could, could only get one fire going, maybe. You know. So that's just my personal opinion. Like I said, I don't know who it was that posed the question, but. I figure that's my two cents anyway. Everybody's tied their own two cents, so, you know. What do y'all think? All right, let me grab a ferro rod. It ain't no big mystery what ferro rod I'm going to use. I'm going to use Mr. Nathan 4071 because it's the uh, best our, uh, flamethrower ferro rod on the planet. I'll be let me pause and grab it. I'll be right back. Unpause. All right, y'all. Mr. Nathan Ferro Rod, best in the market. Uh, Redneck Renegade's Ferro Rod ha uh, handles. Here we go. Happy Fire Day, Fatwood Friday. Let's get a fire going. Whoop, there you go. One and done. There you go, Mr. Bruce. Like I said, I do apologize. I've had some stuff come up and weather and stuff and wasn't feeling good. But it's, I'm, it's out. Like I said, there's a couple things for you to give away. Uh, something for you in there. Basically, and there's a fat wood in there for you. All right, y'all. You know, we ain't promised tomorrow. We ain't promised five minutes from now. You know, don't have no regrets. 
tell somebody you love them, you know? Don't wait till it's too late. I love each and every one of you, and uh, I'll see you on the next burn.